This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, arcade games are fast-paced, simple-to-play video games and goal is usually to get a higher score, not complete a story. In this type of games you are always doing something, shooting, jumping, etc. Often using a joystick with one to three buttons. From one of my previous projects I have an 8 on 32 matrix with WS2812B LEDs, so I decided to make a simple horizontal shooting game on it, somewhat in style of the popular Space Invaders. On one side, on one side spaceships constantly appear randomly and move towards us, and the goal is to destroy, destroy as many enemy ships as possible before they destroy us. The game is extremely simple to make and consists of only a few components. ESP8266 microcontroller board. Next, 8 on 32 LED matrix with WS2812B LEDs. Then, 3 buttons. 3 resistors of 10 kilo ohms and small buzzer. I simplified the device construction as much as possible. Uh, the matrix was first glued on the substrate and then I placed frosted glass in front of it for a better visual effect with some light diffusion. Then I made a simple two dimension joystick. that contains three colorful buttons with built-in LEDs, but standard buttons can also be used. First let me explain how the game works. When you turn on the display, a scrolling text appears with the content press fire to start. Now if you press the fire button, uh, by generating characteristic sound, the game starts. Our weapon is located on the left side of the display and is green. With each press uh, of the up or down buttons, the weapon moves space. One space. In the other side, on the far right, enemy ships marked in, a, uh, in red appear randomly with a magenta missile on their tip. If we destroy the enemy, the missile remains until the end and we must avoid, avoid it so it does not destroy us. At the bottom right of the display, as many green dots appear as we have destroyed enemy ships. If an enemy ship hits our weapon, the game ends and the game over message appears on the display with appropriate sound. Now if you press a fire button, 
a score appears where for each destroyed enemy ship we get 10 points. In this case 7 enemy ships, seven, 70 points. By pressing the fire button again, we return to the beginning and pressing the fire button again starts a new game. The destruction of an enemy object is accompanied by a simple animation and otherwise the entire game is accompanied by appropriate sounds. Honestly, I spent more, I spent more time introducing these simple sounds than I did for the entire development before because the sound generation causes more problems in terms of graphic part of the, of the game. Even at the expense of the sound, some glitches remained in the game. As for the code, it should be noted that it is not as simple as I initially imagined, but it is highly customizable and at the beginning of the code we can change many parameters, of which the most important for the gameplay, for the gameplay are play speed, missile speed, enemy speed, and enemy fire rate. Regarding the installation of the code, I used Arduino ID version 1.8.16 and ESP8266 core version 3.1.2. Below you can see a few examples of gameplay. And finally a short conclusion, this is a retro style space shooting game built using an ESP8266 microcontroller and 8x32WS2812B LED matrix display controlled by three buttons for up down movement and firing with a buzzer for sound effects and programmed using the Arduino ID with the FastLED library.